Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series, where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired, Wireless, Active Directory, and much more. So in this third video in the ClearPass guest section of this workshop, we will be configuring our instant AP um, in order to uh, connect to the self-registration portal page that we created in an earlier video and the services uh, that we created for guests, um, including Mac caching in the previous video. So uh, today we will be configuring the Aruba instant. So as a revisit, uh, this is how the ClearPass guest will work. So a client connects to the uh, instant AP, then we will return a, a role guest redirect, which will redirect the client to a captive portal. The captive portal will be the registration page on the ClearPass uh, uh, appliance. Um, we configured that already. Then we have the registration form. And uh, in the end, the user will be provisioned with credentials. Those credentials are uh, sent to the ClearPass web logon page and then uh, returned back to the browser where it will uh, post the credentials into the ClearPass, in the instant AP, um, which will then in the backend uses Radius to check with uh, ClearPass if the user is allowed access. So let's see how that works. So here we see the two services that we created. Um, here is our self-registration page that we created earlier on. So on the instant AP, we can create a new network and let's call that network guest one and we'll pick uh, the type of the network as guest. So let's go to the next one. Then here we can select if we want to have it uh, network assigned or um, if we want to have it uh, a VLAN uh, or virtual controller managed. So we take network assigned, which will uh, get a network or IP address from the network and we will uh, select a VLAN and let's peek into the architecture. So for the guest, we will take a VLAN 1313. So um, let's put that one in here. 13. Let's go to the next page. And here we can uh, select the authentication. Um, so that will be an external captive portal. We don't have a captive portal uh, server. So here we create a new captive portal uh, profile. So make that uh, clear pass guest register, which is just a label. Um, we will be using uh, radius authentication in this case. And uh, here we put in the host name of the, uh, of the, of the server. So you can see we have a valid certificate here. So um, let's copy the name from there. And then in the second one, we need to put in the URL. So easiest here is uh, if we do here, uh, go to, we can see here the URL, uh, which is the host name here. And then we um, take this part, including the PHP, and we will put that into the URL. So um, the whole URL uh, there is split into a hostname part and uh, a URL, uh, but that will combine uh, the complete uh, the complete uh, set. So port will be 443, HPS enabled. Um, in the case of a failure, we can select if we deny or allow internet, uh, yeah, some, uh, automatic URL, uh, whitelisting and, um, yeah, here we can, uh, put a redirect URL if we want. So, um, let's move these guys to, uh, the Aruba websites, Aruba networks.com. So that's good. Then, uh, because we are doing, uh, Mac caching, we need to do Mac, uh, uh, authentication. So we enable that one and we use the, uh, yeah, let's use the publisher there and the subscriber as a secondary. You can see these are already in here. Uh, these were defined in the, uh, in the wireless, uh, section of the lab. So if you didn't know how to configure it, go back to uh, that one. And here we can do uh, accounting and let's put it in, uh, put it on three minutes. Um, oh, this re authentication, sorry. Accounting here, we can use the uh, accounting servers. And uh, here, let's put that one on uh, three minutes. Um, and yeah, 
let's go on and finish. So this should be the configuration for uh, the guest SSID. And one more thing is that we need to have the correct certificate installed on the instant AP as well. Um, there's an article on Airheads URL will be uh, in the show notes that uh, tells you why uh, this is needed. And I decided to create after this video, another video where I go to the through the packet flow of the ClearPass guest. But in order to install that certificate here on the instant, uh, we need to go to maintenance and here under certificates, we need to scroll down and uh, at least make sure we have a, a good service certificate for the captive portal. And you can see I got one from Let's Encrypt um, and it's called captive portal login aruba networks.com. And that one uh, should match the name that you selected here in the uh, in the workshop registration page. So uh, this one must match the name in the instant AP and the instant AP will do a DNS intercept. Um, again, I will create another video to show that in detail. So here's my client. Let's see um, if the SSID came up. So yes, there it is, guest one. So let's click on it. Let's connect to the SSID. And what you can see is that, um, yeah, an automatic pop-up prompted me for the captive portal. So let's put in my name, put in a bogus phone number for now. And then um, I accept the terms of use. Let's press register now. You can see again, a guest account is created and we can press the login here to um, try to log in. And let's see if that happens or works. So you can see there is a failure. So let's now get back in our policy manager in our um, access tracker. So what we can see here in the access tracker is that we have a deny access. So first it's the Mac authentication, uh, which is denied access. Um, and that one is on the right service, but we can see there is a match on the Aruba instant service. So there's something wrong in our services. So let's have a look here. Let's go to the services and go to the Aruba instant.1x service. And uh, it looks, yeah. So the problem is that it will match on every SSID and not just on the corporate SSID. So let's go here and let's make here if the uh, SSID name not exists, but let's make it begins with corp. Only then we will do uh, .1x. So only if the authentication request is for the corp SID, uh, then we will run into this service. So let's try to get our client back. There it is. So just try it again. Processing. Login. And you can see we are now logged in to the network. So that's good. Let's see in the access tracker if that's correct. So here we see that we have an authentication uh, which succeeded. So what we can do uh, right now is uh, to see if Mac authentication is happening. We can do is change status. We can disconnect the client from the network with a terminate session. And when the client then returns, we see a Mac authentication and uh, yeah, we see that's uh, it is allowed access uh, again by the Mac authentication. So we can see now that uh, Mac authentication or Mac caching um, is working by the uh, Mac authentication. And yeah, we are connected to the network as a guest. So these were all the steps that we had to do for uh, the self registration on a guest. Um, I will create another video where we'll go through the steps that the browser will go uh, through. So then we will uh, show the DNS intercept. We will see uh, how the credentials are posted. Uh, so it's a bit more uh, in depth and there will be a later uh, video on ClearPass guest where we will uh, modify the guest captive portal. Um, so it will m look uh, yeah, even nicer than we had it right now. And then you can customize it to your own requirements. So. That's it for now. 
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. And uh, please like this video, comment below it and subscribe to the channel so you will be notified for new videos.